Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Manor Lords. We are back in our burgeoning settlement. Things are going pretty well. We do have a few issues to iron out and we're going to sort those out today. So let's dive in. Uh, we already have these supplies who've been left here for quite some time. And what I just realised you can do, as with some of your other um, buildings, you can actually change the work area of your storehouses. So we're going to limit the work area very temporarily so we can clear that supplies, uh, those supplies there, get them back into... Uh, or um, storage. The next thing I want to do is I want to get somebody not working in my tavern, but working in my livestock trading post. We are going to trade in some sheep. We would like to import. Uh, we're going to import two sheep. And we're going to then have somebody working there. Excellent. Right. We do have uh, only one of two stable spaces. So I think that's because we might have something in here that we don't want to be in here. We've got Thomas the ox who's currently locked at the livestock trading post. Uh, I think that might be because there's not enough space for him in any of our other stuff. So this hitching post, we are going to upgrade to a small stable. There we go. Now that ox should move to that small stable and we can get on with that. We have also built our mining pit and it is chugging away there. And we should also have a clay furnace over here that is being used as well, which means we can actually upgrade our wooden church now. We'll get that upgraded to a small stone church and that puts us on to if we hover over our burgers level two once we get that church level upgraded we can then get our tavern up and running which is already happening over here this barley field actually what's happened is that the people who are working in this farmhouse are now um working on that farm as well i think we should be able to maybe adjust to the uh work area here but it's not, I don't know if it's actually going to, that's then going to cover every single field we have. So we will leave the, or we'll take away two, and then we will add, once this farmhouse is constructed, we'll make that a high priority. We can have them move up to this area, and what I'll do is I'll set the work area to just work in this barley field. Then we'll get the malt house running, and someone can then work in the tavern. I do want to preempt. We're going to add in, once we've upgraded that to level two, we will have our first uh, brewer put in there's also a bakery extension which has twice the efficiency of a communal oven so what i think i'll do with these i know they're larger burgage plots and i could use them for vegetable plots or something like that but i'm not going to do that i'm going to have two of them be brewers and three of them be bakeries which will be much more efficient than the communal oven that we currently have here. Uh, seeing as we now have our wheat fields up and running and it's going pretty well, we've got quite a bit of flour in storage, so that is actually pretty good. Once we get our sheep, though, we will be able to... Uh, we'll get rid of... get Thomas out of there, get some sheep within this stable, and then move them straight into that sheep farm. But it's reliant on some livestock actually coming in. So I've asked it to import. The global market supply is average. We want a surplus of two sheep. Uh, but before we do that, we actually need to upgrade this stable. So let's get that done. We're going to go over to Iconau now, where there have been some significant developments. And I think we now have enough to actually build our church. So over here, we've got our church. No, we still need some planks. So let's put some people to work in the saw pit. The other thing I want to do is uh, start making use of some things here. Once we get a church built, we'll be in a much better position. We don't have any assigned families here to guide the ox, uh, so we are going to drop some people out of some sort of building somewhere. Uh, I think the hunting camp is probably going to be a good position to move. We'll get someone out of there. That forager's hut is nice, and we do have nobody working in the tannery. We need to boost the population over here. So we've got some more market area requests coming in over here now what i want to do is i want to let's have a look at these supplies they haven't moved yet so we will speed things up our large storehouse will get two more people working in there and once that's done they will hopefully clear out those supplies that are kind of just going to waste there uh, if we get rain that'll get damaged you can see they're now being moved so once they've been stored i'm going to build a new little marketplace right here and that should kind of give us a nice little bit of growth that will facilitate the uh, delivery of goods to these houses throughout. We'll get that pasture up and running. I'm not quite sure about this. I might actually move this pasture while I'm able to. We do have sheep in there now, though, so that is good. Let's just have a look. Can I see a sheep in the field? By the looks of things. 
But when we do upgrade, I'm going to then take sheep breeding on so that our sheep that are grazing in this pasture will multiply. They have space for up to 40 sheep in there, so that's really good. And our livestock trading post has now done its job. We've got two sheep in there, so we'll turn the trading of sheep off, actually. Do you know what? Let's just boost that surplus a little bit more and we'll import a few more. We do have the money to spare, so we'll bring up to uh, 10 sheep. Let's go for 10 sheep. And that's going to, you know, we are going to have to sell a few things. So if we head on over to our trading post, uh, that flax that we brought in, we're actually going to sell that. Uh, I've not got any use for it at the moment. So if we can find the crop, flax, uh, we'll export, we'll turn our surplus down to zero, get rid of all of that. Then in our construction, we do have stone and planks. I am going to export some planks. We'll have our surplus here at 10. So all of the planks that we've got in there, we'll get rid of. Then over our manor, I do want to set some taxes. People are pretty happy. So we're going to boost our taxes up to 10% and that will bring in a little bit of regional wealth for us. Our influence is at 411. That's really nice. And over here, how are we looking for our planks? We've got 20 now, so we just need to get five timber. We'll stop them working at that saw pit and we'll get the logging camp back up. Then we can put in a church. Excellent. So I've spent a lot of time over here in this main kind of village and that's simply because we've got a lot going on here that is now a small stable and we have a livestock there we do want to bring an ox over to that so if we have a look at our livestock trading uh, post can i move our oxen yeah a guide is coming for thomas the ox hopefully to take him somewhere else these supplies are almost clear now we've just got to ah yes of course thomas the ox is on the on the case there He's going to take that log. Log. Got a 100% approval rate in there. Oh, it's dropped. Simply because of our taxation, but that did bring in a nice amount of cash. And over in our pasture, we now have six sheep in there as we continue to import them. So, four more, and uh, I'll be happy with that. And then we can start turning this into wool. That is now gone, so what I'll do is I'll get my large storehouse, we'll clear the work area, and they will again resume deliveries throughout the town we'll get a new marketplace set up right here just a kind of a nice little area there with 44 stalls now that is going to be much better you can see the air forestry have done a really good job of regrowing trees here so i am going to move their work area to let's have it here we'll replenish the forest around the livestock trading post things are looking really good in terms of our construction we've got a lot of timber and planks in now and uh, fuel's looking really good too. 74 firewood and 52 charcoal and plenty of food being brought in, which is really, really good. We don't have any meat, and I think that might be due to our hunting camp. Yep, um, it is topped out on the wild animals there. Now, what we could do is we could bring the trapping, so we'll get a passive income of meat from that, but I think we're okay for them. So, we're looking very good. Our berry deposit is growing. I'm gonna, oh, we've got foragers in there already. And uh, yeah, things are pretty nice here. So we can upgrade this one to level two. We will then also upgrade that to level two. And these will all get their upgrades to level two. I can't move any more families into these and that's fine. I'm quite happy with that. But we are going to expand the living spaces in some of these burgage plots as well. Just to give us a little bit more and allow people to actually move in increase our population so we have more people working those vegetable plots that's looking really nice i want to upgrade these as well uh, at some point get them all to level two so let's just have a quick look at our timber we've still got quite a bit of timber so we will kick off these upgrades as these were the first houses we built here i think it's important to get them upgraded and uh, yeah if we have a quick look over here we've got plenty of level two plots the next target is going to be level threes so here, if we can get a tavern up and running, things will be very good. So we've got a loss of approval over here because they've not been able to get access to a few items. Our pantry is also full over here. And I think it might be because we are going to need a few more people to be working in and around the town, moving things from A to B. Could well be time to build a second storehouse or a second, or get some more people working in the granary. That would definitely help. We'll bring another two people into there and then they can ferry stuff around the town 
that would be really nice. We're at 715 influence, and as you may have remembered, my next um, kind of aim is to stake a claim over here in this middle district. That is then going to allow me to have a really good staging post moving forward. We have had someone else move in here, and now I think it's time to build our church, which we can now build. I'm going to build it here, uh, maybe there, just on the outskirts of the town, right there, and then we'll have a nice little road kind of cuts through it comes out right there and do I have a forester no I'm gonna build a forest right around that we do have families starting to move in now which is really good to see uh, our saw pit we'll leave off logging camp will stay active for now just so that we get a few more items of timber in but this also means that we can pump some people into our forager hut and get plenty of berries harvested this place has a really good amount of food and that forest management, which doubled the capacity of our um, deposits, was really, really useful. Uh, I do need to build a mine, so we'll get that queued up here as well. There we go, that's now being built and I think this is already linked up to the road. Uh, uh, ooh, I don't think that went very well. We'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. Then we'll pop a new road coming in. Out from this mine. There. And they'll start mining and I can build another manor, which means I get another retinue. We've also lost oh, the road to the well and the food store. That's gone. That was my fault. Totally my fault. <laughs> that goes in. And that will come along here. And we still have the market that goes that way. I think I had the road going that way, actually, so we'll... Yeah, that's exactly where it went. And then we'll get rid of this one. There, that's better. Excellent. Okay, so generic storage is full. Where is it? Only the saw pit. No, it's not. It's the logging camp. But we're doing quite a bit of logging and forestry at the moment, so we'll uh, get that sorted. We'll leave that running. And over here, we've had some requirements not met. It's again, it's over here. What are they missing? They're missing food. So the approval rating will drop on that. But we do have some food stalls and stuff there. The pasture is now fully stocked, which is really good. So we will turn off the trading of the importing of sheep in that area there. Now, over here at the sheep farm. We'll get someone working in that pasture. It says there's five slots here. They are now heading off. Where are they going? I can always construct its mining pit right there in there, tending to that pasture. Excellent. So they're going to be able to get us some wool now. We're in September of year five. Got an empty work area for this forager's hut, so we'll drop people out of that. And hopefully they'll be able to uh, work on something else for a little bit. Our church is upgraded, which is very nice. This burgage plot, we will now expand the living space. And I've got some level twos, level twos, that's a level one. We'll upgrade that to level two. Here, we'll upgrade that to level two. That's a level two already. Just got to try and get as many of these upgrades done as possible and then push to get a tavern in. Let's have a look at our crops. We do have six units of barley. Not a lot. Um. Estimated that we're going to get 46 units of barley in the next year. So that is good. It's very useful. But for now, we are going to need a brewer. So over here, we will put in a brewery. And then on this one, I'm going to make this a... Where are we? Oh, I don't have the development for bakeries yet. So that could be something that we do moving forward. Just to make a little bit more use of things... But this one is going to get the brewery, and we are then going to be able to have somebody work in the tavern. And we could also import beer. I go over to the trading post. We can have a look at the cost of ale. It's a commodity, and it costs eight to import it. But a lot of shoes. So we could establish a trade route now and export shoes. Um, we want to keep our surplus at, let's say, um, 
one pair of shoes for each family and we have 51 families so we'll, we'll put it at 51 and that's going to bring us in quite a large amount of regional wealth over on our pastures what we need to do now is work out what we're going to do with that wool so in our industry we have a weaver's workshop which uh, will turn wool into yarn and then through the yarn we can use one of these expanded burgage plots i think to um turn our we can create cloaks and gambesons at the tailor's workshop so i think we'll be making cloaks mainly from them and that'll be very useful so i think a tailor's workshop will be very useful but i don't think i'm going to put it there i think i might have it more towards the center of town uh, kind of around here got a tailor's shop there and a cobbler's shop there and another burgage plot there that's at level two so what we'll do is we'll make that another tailor's workshop if we have a look at our tailor right now what are they producing so they need linen and yarn and dyes that's just linen and dyes so if we do yarn and dyes they'll make cloaks there so we already have a tailor's shop but we don't have linen there and we're not going to be able to get linen we do need yarn and we will need dyes. So, how do we get dyes? A dyer's workshop, which will convert berries. Pop that down there. And once we get the dyer's workshop done, we'll be able to create some dyes. Got some loss of approval over here. A lack of food. Very, very present there. So, we might need to... How are our markets looking? There's a lot of food in that one, so that should be okay. I don't know why they're unable to get access to food is quite difficult what i'll do is i'm going to make these vegetable plots then there we go two vegetable plots they can uh, make their own food if you're that uh frustrated by it all um <laughs> our fields are looking pretty good by the looks of things for now anyway and it looks like we're gonna get got 42 barley so we should now be supplying we can get some stuff going on at the brewery here got brewers waiting haven't yet managed to get what we're looking for where is our barley at the moment it's uh, not stored in the granary is it stored in the farmhouse not this one anyway oh wait yeah there it is it's in that farmhouse there so if i pop one person two people working in that farm we did drop two from that one we should probably add some more living spaces. Have we got space to add any more? Doesn't look like it, but our regional wealth is starting to increase a little bit. We're going to move over again to Eichenhau, which is a little bit neglected at this moment in time. Uh, we've got storage is full, but we've got a lot more people kind of starting to come in now. So if we have a look at our manor, we still need planks and iron. Our mining pit has finished construction, so we're going to put some people working there. We're going to get our saw pit back up and running, but we're going to stick a construction reserve of uh, 10. So we always keep 10 logs in stock, 10 timber in stock. We've got people felling trees there, and that's looking nice. So Burgage is here. We're going to start putting in some vegetable patches. Of them. We've got loads of food though, so that might not necessarily be needed. We're then going to need to build our trading post. Now, I have seen the terrain here is very cliff like, so we're going to put our trading post on the corner here, right in that really key point in town. Excellent. Now, I can see a stone deposit and a clay deposit, they're very, very small, but over here we're looking really good for food. So, if we can keep getting food in, that's going to be uh, very good for us and i just need to build my manor on this side and i can start taxing and uh, continuing to build my influence we've not had any bandit camps spawn for quite some time and over here again we're still getting the requirements not met they are missing food and uh, it's not ideal unfortunately but we are starting to make some real progress here and I think next we're going to need to start looking at what we can do for industry in terms of making some iron slabs using our bloomery. And we're going to put this, kind of want this somewhere away from the houses. Um, we've got a communal oven there, which I think I'll move because having it right next to a mining pit 
I don't think I'd want that. So we'll demolish that building and we'll build a new communal oven somewhere else. I think maybe around about this area would be good if I can find a place for it. It doesn't quite fit there, but if I did get rid of that little pathway, we might fit it in. Perfect. So the communal oven's gone in there. We're going to rebuild our road. I come out here, and then if we can, just squeeze a little pathway in that goes all the way around to here. And then that links up those houses again. Cool. We've got some problems at Iconar where exposed stock is getting drenched. Uh, it's here. No, it's not not in this city it's over in this one where are we can't really see where it is that's okay we've got someone working in the mining pit and if we just have a quick hover over what our mana is looking like we still need some planks we've only got five and in our crafting materials we only have the one iron ore but that's okay once this is done and we get our mana set up things will be a lot better we can make some improvements, I think. So if we're able to add another house in, which does not look like we can, we would have done that. <laughs> but yeah, this one's looking good. We're starting to expand this. It's uh, certainly starting to fill up a little bit. We've got plenty of food and plenty of fuel for them, so I'm not too worried about that. That berry thing worked really well for us. We might want to go into beekeeping here as well and make this a huge food production area. And... Once we get a trading post, we might be able to just exchange goods between the two towns. But I think because there's no actual road link between these two, we can't do that yet. And if I just look at to build a road, like going here, you can see how ridiculous that incline is. And I'm surprised it even lets me do it. Over here, we've got some issues. We've got a pantry that's full. We've got exposed goods and uh, some requirements still not being met in terms of food. That might need to go. I don't know if that's actually going to work. So, we'll just leave that. And they can just start... Oh, it's... Wait, is it clothing? No, it's definitely food. Uh, they need to get food somehow. We can't do anything about that at the moment. We'll just have to deal with that. Now, let's have a look. Do we have crafting materials here? We've got clay, we've got wool. We've got plenty of wool now. Which means... We don't have any dyes. We've got 19 berries, which is not a lot. We do have a dyer's workshop. We will have someone work in that. And what I'm going to do is I might actually remove berries from that area. Can our dyer's workshop have a... No, it doesn't. I thought it might have like a cap so you could stop them taking all of the berries. But that's okay. So now we have our dyer's workshop. We've got wool. That wool can then be processed at our... Where is it? Do we have one? We don't have one, do we? Don't think... Yeah, we've got the dyer's workshop, but we don't actually have the weaver's workshop. It would be nice to be able to see all of the buildings that you have. So our weaver's workshop kind of needed to go in between the sheep and the dyer's workshop. Can I fit it here? I'm going to put it on a bit of an angle. Like that. And then we'll have a little road. So this is a very busy street now. So we've got a weaver's workshop. And uh, yeah, everything else is looking pretty good. Our manor might be time to do some upgrades to that. And once we can get our tavern up and running and get some beer produced we will actually be able to upgrade some of our burgage plots again which will be very nice if i just have a quick look at where is it commodities we don't have any ale but in our crops we still have 42 units of barley so this brewery here let's have a look at where the people are we've got waiting we've got peter who's coming home where are you? 
Parathea is waiting still. Not really doing anything. Right. Over at the farm up here, do they still have... They still have the 42 units of barley being stored. I'm going to put their work area to just that field. Because I think that might be the problem. Our dyer's workshop now has berries and dyes. Our granary is fully stocked. Generally, people are happy. They don't like the taxation, but there's nothing I can do about that. Um, we are a little bit of an impasse. I'm going to continue upgrading some of these buildings, though. It might be time to actually just expand. I'm just going to continue upgrading stuff to level 2. Still got 30 burgage plots that are only level 1, mainly on this side of the city. Our pasture here... 10 of 40. Now, if we can unlock this sheep breeding, we can then start selling livestock. So at the moment, we've got a lot of wool there, 60 units of wool. So I think what we'll do is we'll start exporting wool as well. We haven't yet managed to get ale. We're selling quite a bit. Of, well, we're not actually selling any shoes. There's our merchant. Can't follow him. Do we have... We don't have anyone working there, that's why. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll quickly trade and we'll export some wool. And we'll have our surplus kept at 30. And that'll bring us in some wool. We'll establish a new trade route again. Excellent. So we've unlocked wool as a trade route there. And we do need to maybe adjust some jobs here. We can add some living spaces to some of our burgage plots, so I'll do that, and we'll hopefully get a new family moving in. We do have 54 burgage plots now that... Well, 54 living spaces. So we'll continue to expand the living spaces here. We've got more people moving in. Uh, I don't think... Oh, well, we can. We can expand one there. We can expand one there. Not that one. Strangely, not that one. Mm, that's quite a large one. I'm quite surprised by that. Or has it already been expanded? Probably. Um, right, okay, we are in winter. The fuel is fantastic. We're doing very well on fuel. We're going to head on over to Iconau, which we've got an empty work area for the berries, so we will drop people from the forager hut and we'll stick them all into the hunting camp. We do need someone working in that granary, so we're going to add a couple of citizens to work in that. The mining pit is getting gradually smaller as it's cleared out. And if I can now just build a new manor, what do we need? We need 20 planks. We still don't have the planks, even though we've got... This is why. Nobody's moving anything around here. Okay. Yeah, nothing's being moved even though we do have people here to move things. What's happening? What am I missing? Ah, we're putting all of our efforts into getting that trading post constructed. That's why. Right, okay. Weaver's workshop is now complete, so we'll get... We can't get anyone working in there right now. We've got six requirements not met over here. People aren't getting food. Communal oven is back up and running. Why are people not able to get food? So back in Iconau. Trading post is now complete. Disconnected from major trading routes. Oh. I thought you were connected. Well, that's frustrating. Now you're connected. So, we've got 10 planks there, 60 hides, I can't afford to establish any trade routes there yet, and I was kind of hoping, um, this is not available yet though, you can trade goods between your 
settlements. It might well be because I don't actually have a direct route. So I'm wondering if, can I make a route that comes through here? Over this river? No. Hot. Right. But actually, we've gone over that river as well. I'm just wondering if I can make a trade route or a, a road that comes off here and goes through there. Even though that hill is ridiculous. I, no, I don't want to do that. That's totally immersion breaking. We'll get rid of that. We're going to have to make some inroads into Waldbrand. And we haven't even started on Imin Ruth yet, so we've got quite a lot of work to do here. But, in the interests of time, we need to solve the issues that are cropping up here with the lack of food for these burgage plots. How's our tavern looking? Not great. The brewery? Are they actually working yet? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Basically, we need more people to move in. So if we can get some more people moving in, that might help us with uh, people guiding the oxes. Our tavern keepers are currently wandering around there. This farmhouse still only has still has forty two barley in it. What's going on? Oh wait, I'm such an idiot. We don't have anyone working in the malt house. That's why the barley needs to. Oh my word. It's taken me so long to realise that. What an idiot. Right, okay. We're going to drop another two families from this farmhouse. Oh, that's disgraceful. How have I managed that? Right then. Meat, veggies. We're short on berries. We're short on bread. Even though, do we have someone working in the windmill? Yes. So that's going to be getting sorted and changed into grain. And we don't have anyone working in the communal oven, so we're going to put someone into that now. Right, we've got quite a few requirements not being met here. And I think it's because of the uh, separated marketplaces here. I think they're going to a different market instead of one of these that they should be going to. So, it's time to get rid of this marketplace. Very quickly. That is gone. This marketplace is going to go and very quickly be replaced by a brand new one. And I'm hoping that this just solves the issues. It might just be some sort of problem that I've caused myself. So we've got 90 market locations there, but for some reason it doesn't want me to do any, any of that. It doesn't like it. So let's try this way. There we go, 91. It won't let me build it. Is it because of these, uh... I think it's because of the trees. Oh dear, okay. Um, right, so we'll just use this market here then. We get 48 stalls in there. Supplies there, that's why. It's because the market was demolished. Oh god. This was a really bad idea. We need those supplies cleared now, so very quickly we're going to limit the work area here to that, and then with the granary we're going to limit their work area to here. And hopefully those supplies will get cleared very, very quickly because we're short on time here. We don't want things to start stagnating as our supplies dwindle. So there's one more slice of bread there, and that is now gone. We'll pause that, we'll switch our granary to that area there, and we'll switch our storehouse to that area there. Then we should be able to now build that large marketplace that I was hoping to build. Yeah, we definitely can. Right, let's get that set up properly then. One there. One there. one there. That gives us 85. That'll do. That's a huge market. 
So then we'll get our foresters and we're going to have them just move into this area here and plant some nice trees right in the middle of that little part of town. And then here we'll get our new market set up. So all of these supplies should go to market very soon. And hopefully, I mean, look at that fuel. We've got so much firewood now. Must have chopped down an entire forest. The woodcutter's lodge will bring people away from that. We'll just have the one working there. And I think this one as well. Did we have someone working in here? Yeah, we've got three working there. We'll drop that down to one. That gives us a lot more in terms of the amount of, like, labour that we've got available. Foresters are working fine there, but look at this. This is bad. We need this market up and running very, very quickly. Hopefully, once it's set up, <laughs> all of those supplies are being cleared. So our granary, we will clear the work area. We'll add someone else in there. And then the storehouse will clear the work area. I think it might be worth us building another granary as well. So uh, let's go to our logistics. We'll build a brand new storehouse. And we'll build that storehouse around here. Just at the back of this area of town. And another granary right next to it. There. Right, okay. Oh, hopefully that'll solve the issues that Zvaya was having. But over in Ica now, we've got some storage that's full. We've got more people moving in. And it's looking pretty good in terms of food. Loads of berries. Lots of animals coming back. The berry deposits are growing again. The hunting camp does have people stocked up in there. And we can probably now build our manor. We still need more iron. There's loads in the mining pit. So maybe another ox is what we actually need. So we're going to expand the hitching post. Upgrading that to a small stable. And then we'll get another ox. I don't think it is the ox. I think it's just that people aren't... Oh, an enemy unit. Where? Raiders coming in. Where are they going? This could be a chance. We could capitalise here. We're going to hire in some mercenaries. I do have money. I've got wayward sons who will arrive in Imminruth. And then we'll get our spear militia to rally. Where's Imminruth? Oh, it's there. Yes, that's Imminruth. So we'll have our spear militia rally there and we'll have the retinue rally here let's go and this lot are going to start harrying these bandits A large force of bandits. I am going to probably have to start thinking about expanding my military. The bandits have turned. Now heading towards the archers that I've got posted here. I'm going to try and get them up there a little bit and we'll start kiting them around. So this unit, we're going to move over here. We're going to have this unit just charge up. Here they come. We just head behind here and this group of soldiers are going to come over to here. We're going to have this lot um, shoot at will. This group will attack from the side and then we'll bring my retinue around. They can charge in. Fire has broken out in Zvayo. Oh god. Oh dear. I'm hoping that they can solve that because I'm right in the middle of combat. It's 
my unit. God. No more mercenaries. Okay, these guys are uh, really giving us a fight. Don't know where the mercenaries have gone. You're not good for your coin, are you? Terrible. This lot are starting to break them down. But uh, not good in hand to hand. Oh. Yeah, we're about to be completely broken. Yeah, we've lost our retinue as well. So, uh, what month are we on? March. Where are this lot going? We took a lot of losses there. We have, however, reached 1,000 influence. Although over here, we've got a lot of issues with people's requirements not being met. And this is for food and clothing now. But I think the fact that we pushed out and took on those bandits has maybe helped. We need to do something about the lack of food. I'm not quite sure how they're not able to get it. Because we've got loads of people who are able to feed them. Loads of market stalls that I've set up. Got a fire over here. How did this one do? This one needs to be rebuilt. Those bandits have left. I am going to need to start importing some serious goods now. So let's get someone working here. Now we're doing quite a bit of export on this sort of stuff, so that's good. We can actually export some roof tiles. So let's uh, establish a trade route for that. And we will start exporting, but we'll keep our surplus at 100. Okay. This could well be one of those moments where I have to just, you know... make some adjustments, redo all of my job assignments, and uh, a little bit of a soft reset. Because this is a problem. Loads of vegetables, no berries, bread, eggs, are struggling with. I think uh, it might be a good idea to put in a few more burgage plots that are solely targeting the production of eggs. Over here with our pastures, though, we've got quite a substantial amount of wool. 73 wool. Uh, the trading post is looking pretty good, though. Uh, it's stocked up. We've at least got quite a bit of uh, wool. Uh, with my wool, I'm going to make that 50 now. And uh, what, do, what about commodities? Cloaks? We haven't made any cloaks yet. We do have ale, though. Got eight ale. So, if we can have a little bit more variation in the food that we've got, like here, they can get an ale... We can actually upgrade those to let this one can now be upgraded to level three. So that's our first level three burgage. We only need there's another one. That's level three now. One more. One more. What about the brewery itself? No. Looks like we lost some burgage there as well due to the fire. And then that stable's going to need rebuilding as well. Ah, there's one. So if we get eight more planks, it's time to get our uh, saw pit up and running again. 216 regional wealth. We have just made an absolute ton of money. That's fantastic. So what we're going to do with that is bring in some more <laughs> armaments. We now have some seriously large burgage plots here, and one more of them will give us exactly what we're looking for. There we go. That's now getting upgraded. Uh, we'll tell our saw pit not to work anymore, and uh, more people 
as we get our next burgage plot set up and upgraded that will take our settlement level even higher and it looks like mostly the requirements are now being met again which is good to see Ooh, that was tough And then next episode, we can really focus on upgrading Iconau and bringing some more people in, safe in the knowledge that over here, people are starting to be fulfilled, they're starting to get exactly what they want, and then here, we should now be able to build our manor. We still need 15 iron ore. Um, mining pit is completely cut off for some reason, I don't know why. It has a road, a road comes around to here. We do have people working at the storehouse. They do have a store. Ah, the storage is full. Let's upgrade that. There we go. Nice and easy. We'll bring you away from that. We don't need you working in that anymore because we've got plenty of planks, including the guy who's in charge of the city. And we now have another level three burgage plot there. That's now done, constructed. That one's under construction and nearly done. That one's under construction and nearly done. Is done. Two of three. One more. Takes us to three of three and gets us a new skill point. We go. Right, we have a settlement level increase. And what I'm going to need to do is uh, we could do basic armor making. We could do deep mining, which enables the building to extract resources indefinitely, but. I just have a quick look. I don't have any rich resources apart from clay. Oh, they're both rich resources. We're going to do that. We're going for deep mining. That is going to be huge for us. So, we can now upgrade these to deep mines, which means we're going to get our saw pit up and running again. Loads of regional welfare. So, what we could actually do is start importing some sort of food. Like, we could start importing honey or apples. We'll import apples and we'll keep a surplus of 50. Set that trade route up. Now, we do have to be aware of the fact that um, as we continue to bring these in, uh, these pastures and stuff are going to dip out eventually. So if we get 10 more level 3 burgage plots we will then be able to get our sheep breeding going up and then we can start continuing to sell more and more stuff. So what I do need to make sure I've got is plenty of planks. We don't have that at the moment. And then eventually ensure that all of these burgages are being fulfilled. They've got a nice supply at the tavern. At the moment, we don't have. We've got one ale in the tavern. Uh, the malt house is producing plenty of malt, but this farmhouse, uh, they're not getting a lot of barley in there. But it is starting to improve the, the level of barley. We can upgrade a couple more to level 2. We're largely topped out on level 2 burgage plots here. Uh, these are level 2. Again, we don't have the ability to upgrade many of them yet. But I think we will leave it there. So over here in Zvayao, things are looking really nice. Uh, it has developed pretty well, and uh, yeah, I think the next focus has got to be over in Iconau, where things have been kind of left to not really do anything. I can get the manor up and running now. I'll be really useful. Uh, if I just have a quick look down at Iconau before we close out. Still can't build my manor. I think that's because we're still waiting for this to be finished constructing. So the last thing I will do, get this constructed, and then I'll build my manor. And again, it's just going to be a tiny little hut. Don't have any intention of expanding that very much. We we'll build it right up here, behind the church. And then uh, we'll be able to get that sorted. So next episode, we'll have a new manor. Hopefully things will be a little bit less chaotic. Uh, we seem to go from having one non-chaotic episode to a completely over-the-top one. But uh, if we have a look at the map, Zvaya is looking really nice now. And I'm very happy with how that's turned out. We've got a big area of expansion that we could move into there. 
but we're getting plenty of regional wealth. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.